Hello everybody there, um, this is Kurt with uh, the Kurt Mike Experience, and as you can see, today we're going to be doing uh, some Dark Souls 2. Um, a lot of people have played this, but, you know, <clears throat> a lot of the DLC has come out lately, um, and I haven't played any of the DLC, and I thought I'd go through this, the original game, with um, a brand new character here, and my thought process would be to play the game with no armor. Just to make it more difficult, more entertaining of an experience, and so you guys can all giggle at me when I die a lot. So, um, right now obviously we're just at the very beginning of the game, and I'm just going to get to the introduction here and make my character and make him make it as the day he was born. And we'll see how well I can do, because I've played this game quite a lot, but we'll see how I do with no armor. And I'm going to assume that everybody's already seen the cutscenes, so I'm just going to skip them all. Um... And we'll just go from there. See if you guys like it or not. Naked. There we go. All right. It's always a good start when you can't uh, click OK first, right? <laughs> ah. So if everybody's played this before, you've already recognized this screen here and how everything looks. I think we're going to go with Petrified Something just to see if maybe I can get a good gift at the very beginning. Hopefully I can get something powerful and go from there because I'm going to try to go for just melee as well. So then, you know, some people would say, well, if you're going to do naked but you're going to have, you know, <clears throat> all magic and skills and range skills, then it's not that bad. So I'm going to do melee as well just to make it even more tough. I might do sword and board just to make it a little bit more pleasurable for me. But we'll see what happens. Definitely no armor though. Um, I think we can do... Uh, do I really want to do any of this? I'll just do random. Ah, oh, that looks good, right? <laughs> and then, of course, we'll do male, and then... We'll do, you know, fat neck here. Ripped fat neck. <laughs> Oh, going for the douchebag theme, actually. I think that'll work. I think that'll work just fine, but if you're going to do douchebag, you'd have me matching color, right? <laughs> there we go. Looks good, looks good. What's a douchebag without a face tattoo? Right, blue face tattoo. There we go. You know, why not, right? I think... That'll do her. And yes, that's my true self. <laughs> All people come here. Of course, I have the DLC pack for or the you know pre-season, whatever they call it. You know, all that extra free equipment and stuff. So let's see if we can do anything with any of these weapons for now. I don't think I can wield anything I have right now, as depraved. Not really. So I guess I'm just gonna pick the one that does the best for me. That'll work. Once again, though, I apologize, because I'm going to try to do this without looking up anything, really. Um, I went through the whole game once already. Um, and I know how to play, for the most part. I do pretty okay. I, I beat the whole main story pretty alright. Um, but, you know, everybody looks up stuff once in a while if they don't remember where to go or what to do. Whoops. <laughs> and so I'm going to try not to look up a bunch of stuff again, just to make it a little bit more fresh for me. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be fun. Being bright red all the time. <laughs> it's going to be an easy target, right? And then, of course, I'm also playing offline as well because, <laughs> for being honest, and if I'm not wearing armor, the most most people that are going to invade me are going to have, you know, magic spells, and it's going to tear through me in one shot. I can do a lot of health and a lot of um, stamina, but I'd rather not go for that just to be safe. And we'll just see how it goes. I can already tell this is not going to end very well for me, though. Until I get some more strength to wield better equipment. And of course, um, <clears throat> for the first couple videos, I'll probably just deal with um, you know, 20 minute videos, some shorter videos. 
just so that I can um, cut it up a little bit quicker for you guys, make it a little bit more entertaining per episode. Because, I mean, we all know, too, that most people, when they watch Dark Souls 2 playthroughs, because I have myself, um, like the special ones like Indiana Jones playthroughs or like Legolas playthroughs, the very first thing you want to see is the bosses that people die at the most. And of course that always tends to happen, especially for me, it's probably going to happen right the very first boss. Hmm, maybe for now I should maybe just use the dagger so I can get quicker attacks in. Nah. Screw it. Almost couldn't dodge him because I had no more uh, stamina there. Not gonna lie though, this uh, whole red skin thing is gonna probably be pretty distracting. And what I'm doing right now, obviously, is going through you know the tutorial areas of the game, just because it's easier for me to um, get a couple souls to start off the game with. I should probably actually go for him first. Uh-oh. Let me make sure I don't have any... I don't remember if I have any life gems or not. No, sir, I do not. Oops. You guys might be able to see my first death right here at the very beginning. Very beginning of the game. Nope. I don't have the handle down on this weapon because I never used it before. In the actual playthroughs that I've done. But that's also because I have absolutely no strength to wield this. I might switch to... That might work for a little bit, just until I can get through the main part. Ooh, he nearly got me there. If he hit me with one of those, I probably would have died, to be honest. There's the life gem. I'm going to have to use some of this stuff right now, obviously. But that should be good for now. I'll just go uh, to the main part of the game after I go over here and drop this off. You, Inventory. You, yes, you. Give us a Funny story, actually, when um, I was showing Nick this game, because he never really played it before. A little while back, actually, not too long ago, um, <laughs> I told him about the petrified something here and to drop it there, and <laughs> in my haste to try to go through that part a little bit quicker so then we could actually get to the game and watch him die so I can make fun of him, of course, I accidentally told him to discard it instead of leave it. So the very first time he ever played the game, I made him discard his very first character, which is the mouthfeel here. If you, any of you have seen our, um, Dark S or our um, Diablo 3 playthroughs, you know what Mouth is from, and then Satan's mine, other character. I'll show you him at some point, probably. I called him Satan just because I thought it was funny. And <laughs> he's wearing the uh, Spelter Demon helmet, so he looks like a giant butthole, of course. You, you, oh, Twinkling Timeline. That's not a bad choice, actually, to get from our very first thing. Because now I don't have to... I could probably get my first upgrade if I want to go for one of the uh, more powerful armor weapons, like a great sword. And also, of course, in these little sprinting montages where you're going from one place to another, I might just cut it out to the next area. So you're not bored of me running like a jerk through the whole hallway here. I remember when I first played this, though, there's a little sign down there that says, uh, like the so beautiful thing. And it's probably still there. Alright, got our divine blessing. That's good. 
And then I also might join the Covenant up on the rock there over on the etching. Just to make this like an NG plus right off the bat. But we'll, we'll see how we go. I might not. Alright, lady. Are you? Yes, I'm the next monarch, of course. Go on and... Spoilers. There are... You will... There we go. I'll use that now because I don't really... Internet Souls really doesn't matter. Seek... So... Bear... Lest this... Yep, yep, yep. And I don't think I have any ability to upgrade yet. Nope, 500 is the minimum first for the very first upgrade, so that's the very first thing I'm going to plan on doing is farm a couple enemies for just a little bit more souls so then I can level up a little bit and actually get a weapon that I care about. Because right now, obviously the weapon I'm using is not very good. And then I'm going to upgrade the shard right in, or Estus Flask right with that shard. Because screw having only one. Then of course, uh, just like any of other videos um, Nick and I play, we're not, you know, the best MLG gamers Bear. for the particular game we're playing. Yes. So if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below and let us know what we may be doing wrong or what we can do to improve the entertainment. Because we're here to entertain you guys, we're not here for us. We're here to look silly and make you guys laugh. So, um, I think the first I'm going to run over to is the Hides, or Heidi, however you say it, the stronghold with the extra tall dudes. I think that'll be the first place I go to. So I'm going to cut and come back when I get over there. Alright everybody, we're finally the Hides Tower of Flame. So we're going to come down here and automatically get this bonfire because I expect a death pretty soon here with these guys if I don't play my cards right. And um, of course the only things you missed were like just some small pickups like the broken thief sword and crimson parma. I might use shields depending on if I really feel like doing sword and board. Um, like I was saying earlier, but we'll see. Oh boy, this is the... not gonna go well. I might have to actually switch out and go to something else completely. Yeah, because these guys I do no damage to. <laughs> yep, so I'm going to break this off just because I don't have any real ability to kill him with, you know, the defect in using two-handers that I can't physically use, so maybe I'm going to come down here and just switch to something that I can actively wield for now, just so I can get a little bit better damage off on him, because right now I can't do enough damage to actually be viable with that two-hander. Two-handed, I mean. Yeah, see, that does better with just a single attack. Oops. Never thought I'd be using a dagger at first. I've never used a dagger in this game ever, because I'm generally one that likes to go for the, you know, beastly looking guys in heavy armor, but I ironically go for equipment load, which is probably detrimental to the damage or health that I'm going to have in any character I pick, but I really enjoy a really fast, really mobile, really heavily armored uh, character. Oop. I accidentally tapped the bumper too soon. I was also going to make this extra hard for myself and play with a mouse and keyboard on top of playing it with no armor, but I decided that that would probably be impossible, so I'm not going to go through that much pain. Oop. I want to be sure that I'm close to full health for any of these enemies, really, because they could probably uh, kill me pretty quick. Oop, well, there you go. This is my first death. 
because I was being way too ballsy and not paying attention to his swings. But pretty good going this far without having a death yet after not playing this really for the past like couple weeks. Oh well that's that's lovely. <laughs> Dark green with bright red hair. I'm Christmassy. Oop, he did his fourth attack I didn't expect. Luckily he missed that. If you guys also want to, I don't have to necessarily go naked. I could use the beginning, you know, clothes or something, just like dirty rags that actually don't give me very much armor. In case you don't really care for the whole, you know, just in your trousers thing. Because, I mean, of course, you know, any speedrunner of this game would put me to shame in terms of no armor runs, you know? Oh, a blue eye orb that I'll never use. Yay! Hey, buddy. Oops, I rolled way too early for that. Oh, wow. I'm really failing with the rolls on this guy. I'll just do it the cheap way. Yeah, and the re big reason why I'm going to go for massive two-handers with a lot of strength is because I would like to do a lot of poise breaking for any bosses or enemies I face, because that'll probably be a desperate need for, for me. Because imagine if I can break their poise doing something like that. Oh, Sublime Button Dust. I forgot that he gives that. That'll be very important for when we get back. Human an effigy. And then I'll kill this guy real quick, and then we'll level up and probably call this the first episode for now. And as you guys can tell, this will probably pick up in speed once I get some better weaponry, of course. Oop, you got me through the door. I always love that about the hitbox in this game. It's like the most realistic one in terms of like, you know, you could be hit when he's, you're behind him just because his weapon swung that far. But then also there's that same glitch that's in most games like this where, oh, he hit me through the door just because his weapon clipped through it. No stab attack, no stab attack. Good boy. That was a silly jump. Oh, he got me on that one. Might just have to angle him down here and stop fighting through the doorway. Give him a... Oopsie, I did not roll at all. Uh, that was silly. Boy, oh boy, we're going to have a good time watching me die a lot, huh? I think it's because my brain gets tired of um, following the same patterns over and over again. So instead of actually doing it the right way every time, I just kind of get lazy and forget what I'm doing. And then that lapse of judgment and forget what I'm doing, then, you know... I get killed because I get bored. So when I get larger weapons, then I won't have to sit here and do the same friggin' kiting and snaking around him like I have been. Get up and dirty with him even though I won't have any clothes on, you know? So I think I will probably go for a shield just so I have that, you know, brief respite where I can block, you know, massive amounts of damage with 100%.
See if I get a little bit more calm and actually take my time, then I won't get killed nearly as much. But we'll just have to see how I do. It's gonna be extra fun too when we go into the um, room over there where there's the guy with the two-handed sword and the two shield monkeys. Oop, that was close. And he's dead. All right. Well, there you go. Anywho, um, I will go ahead and pull this lever. I'm gonna go and upgrade, and then I will cut the episode off here, so you guys can actually see. I'm gonna try to make sure that I keep. Anytime I do a cut in the video, I'm gonna keep them as close knit as possible, so you guys can see that I'm not like doing anything behind the scenes. So in this case, I want you to see what I upgrade to, so then the next time I come in, it'll be the exact same, you know, set. And then you won't have to worry that, oh, did I do things when you guys weren't watching and then be all sneaky sneaky about it, so. As we know, I was the deprived set to begin with, so obviously everything should be Bear. that same number yes. across the board. Sixes, I think. Yeah. So we will first start off by leveling up strength as high as we can go, just so we can use some of these weapons two-handed that are a little bit stronger. Then, oh yeah, I can't. There we go. We'll go in here and take... Nope, not that one. 10, 14, so... Should be able to use this two-handed effect, I think. Yep. Then we'll use both of these real quick to level up one more time with her. And then hopefully get enough to do my strength there. Nest. a little bit more. I'll actually put the decks up by one more as well, just to... Well, maybe I should just leave that at 10 and do that to 8 and keep those as close to the same as possible. Because I think what I'm going to do is do dexterity up to about 20 or 30 maximum and then up my strength as high as I can go so I can use one of those heavy sh uh, s <coughs> swords that don't really require much dexterity. But there we go. That should be effective for now. I'll go test it out on one of the Heidi uh, guardsmen again out here. See how it works and then we will cut that episode off right when I kill him. Hey buddy, I'm back again. That's better. Oop, that made a mistake. Never let your <laughs> stamina run out just because you feel like that's a good idea. Because you think you can maybe tank or not tank, uh, take it enough health to be able to not worry about it. Always know your limitation of swings, so for me, three for the short attacks is a, will take out all mine, so two and then a roll would be sufficient, so. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will be back with the next video where we're probably going to go back to Majula right here, and I will start off by probably going to the uh, Forest of Fallen Giants to start at the very beginning of the game. That's the easiest place to begin, and I can farm enough souls there to actually make this uh, playthrough not of me dying 65 million times. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!